uh, with Saeed Kamal, the um, relatively new leader of the CR group um, in the European Parliament. Um, so I will say a few words about the briefing and then we'll be open to questions. I think we have around 20 minutes. Saeed. Oh. Thank you very much. Well, welcome to the first day of the 8th European Parliament. Um, my, you know my name is Saeed Kamal. I'll tell you a bit about myself. I was born in London. Um, my parents came to Britain in the 1950s. Father worked on the railways and the buses um, and always told me that there's no limit to what you can achieve if you believe in yourself and work hard. And I've carried that ethic through at my life. And one of the things that I believe is when people say that something can't be done, I think you knock the tea off and you tell them it can be done. I think there's no limit to what you can achieve if you believe in yourself. I also believe that those who say that things can't be done are showing their own limitations, not yours. Um, and with that, I think it's very exciting that we, I am now the leader of the third largest group, a growing force committed to reform. Um, and I was elected, sadly, to take over from Martin Canlan, who sadly lost his seat. But because we are a growing force, it's important that we tell people what we are in favour of. We are in favour of challenging the cosy consensus. You may have heard Saj Karim's speech there, our candidate for the President of the Parliament, in the Parliament earlier. Um, we believe that we have to look forward now. Um, and one of the things that worries me about Brussels and the Brussels village in particular, and I have to say this extends not only politicians, but actually sometimes in the press as well, is that we tend to look back all the time. We have to look forward. And one of the mantras of my group is to make sure that we look forward to meet the challenges of today, my children, our grandchildren, and the challenges as we work towards the 2050s, not look back to an outdated model of the EU based on the cosy post-war consensus of the 1950s. So with that, we want to be positive. We don't want to be talk about what we're against all the time. Where there are things that we object to, we will oppose. Of course we will do that. It's part of parliamentary democracy. But where other groups are committed to reform, where they are looking forward-looking, where they are seeking to meet the challenges of tomorrow, we will work with them. So for example, where there are groups who are talking about completing the single market, talking about the digital single market, talking about a flexible employ employment laws, talking about tackling some of the chronic unemployment that we see in parts of the EU, talking about lifting their eyes up from the navel gazing, the institutional navel gazing, where we look back and we talk about institutional issues, while out there, when I was on the, during the election, during the, on the doorstep, people weren't talking about the Spitzland candidate process, or they weren't talking about um, you know, uh, the institutional issues and the battle between the Parliament and the Council. They were talking about jobs, they were talking about you know, growth, they were talking about you know, the, the social concerns that face them and their communities and every day. So I, it's with that I regret the sort of cosy stitch up between the EPP, the Socialists and Audi. Um, and let's see if, you know, if, if Schultz is elected as President of Parliament. But if he is, I will have to work with him. And where he puts forward ideas for reform, where the Council puts forward ideas for reform, where the Commission puts forward ideas for reform, we will work with him. Um, on a couple of announcements, last night uh, we announced that the, uh, we, the Chairman of the Internal Market Committee will be Vicky Ford. Vicky has a reputation, a hard working reputation, both on economic and monetary affairs and also on the uh, ITRE Committee, Industry and Research and Energy. And I know she's going to bring that same energy to the internal market. And one of the issues that she's going to be working on is making sure that rather than just talking about a single market, we aim to complete the single market. There's still a lot of work that's left to be, undone, uh, left to be done. And secondly, Anna Fotiger, a former F Polish Foreign Minister, will be our Chairman of the Security and Defence Subcommittee. Let me finally say a few words about uh, last week's Council meeting. I felt that the me meeting produced the right agenda for reform, even though I disagreed with the process um, and the Spitzenkandidat process. Um, I think we've been over the reasons why we disagree with the process. We felt it was a tenuous reading of the, uh, of, of the Lisbon Treaty. But once again, if I am to live by my own words, we don't believe in looking back, we want to look forward. So where the candidate, uh, and if it is Mr Juncker or anyone else, is uh, committed to reform, we will work with them. And we want to make sure we have a positive agenda, looking forward, a Europe to meet the challenges of the 2050s, not looking back to an outdated model of the 1950s. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh,